2022 was definitely one for the books. I had a lot of different things going on in 2022. So in this video, I'm going to be resetting for 2023, kind of just having a whole new fresh start for the year and i did a lot of stuff in 2022 it was very very eventful a lot of ups and downs lots of good things lots of like depression and bad things but a lot of good things overall i had lots of peaks for my business brand ambassadors models like i had so much good stuff going on and 2023 was really fun i met loads of new people started so many things for my business <laughs> my podcast i did so many things i'm making ebooks now like literally the ideas are countless of different things that happened in 2022 and i'm just so grateful how good a year that was for me i had ups and downs but it was still a great year i also even got to go to fort lauderdale and miami on a trip i had so much fun and i'm just so glad i got to go there but 2023 is going to be even better than 2022 and i'm so excited for it so let's go ahead and start resetting for the new year and get right into the video So first up is my mini glow up that I had going on. I went to the hair salon and I got my hair done. It's super cute. It's like bone straight now and it's so pretty. This is what it looks like before and then I'll show you guys what it looks like after. So we just got back from the hair salon and she did my hair. Same straight hair. It's just super softer and like more straight. And she did my baby hairs. They're so pretty but I absolutely love it. Now it is time to start cleaning, and I honestly hate cleaning, but I had to do it because once you just go ahead and do it, it just gets better from there. So I use this Meyer spray. It's actually my sister that took it out of her room to use it, but it smells so good. And so I just cleaned off my desk and my dresser with it, and it made my like it really smelled up my whole room to smell like flowers, and I absolutely loved it. So now I'm cleaning off my desk so I took everything off so I can spray it and clean the whole thing because I haven't cleaned it in such a long time and that's actually crazy but I just haven't cleaned it and so I sprayed it off and I cleaned everything and I'm going to organize everything just so I can have a fresh start for my schoolwork and everything else I do at my desk. I honestly think it's so important to clean, especially like at the beginning of the year, but clean at any time that you get to, especially on your Sunday resets. I really do love to do that because once you just do one big clean, then you can just start to maintain it and not do big cleans all the time because that takes up a lot of time. So when you just go to do one big one hour clean, you are able to just maintain it every day. You can spend a few minutes to straighten up your room. But now I am organizing my desk, so I'm organizing my books, my pens, my pencils, literally everything, so everything that can be easier to reach, and it just looks more aesthetically pleasing to me, and it makes me want to do my work and my schoolwork and stuff. So it's not only important to reset your physical life, but also your mental life. So I definitely recommend doing different journal prompts, like what was my biggest achievements in 2022? What goals did I achieve in 2022? What goals did I not achieve in 2022? And then also do different prompts for the new year, like how will I achieve my goals in 2023? How will my life be different in 2023 than it was in 2022? So I love to do different prompts like that to really reflect on the past year and really create my reality for the new year. I have a whole podcast episode all about how to make 2023 your best year yet. And I also have 2023 journal prompts and how to achieve your goals in 2023. So I have all these episodes on creating your dream life in 2023. So I'll leave the link to those podcast episodes in the description down below.
also want to talk about really quick on making habits. So one of my goals for the new year is to start reading a lot more and I really like to read and I really don't make time for it so I really want to start getting back into reading and I just want to tell you guys really fast that in order to make a habit you have to have a good system. So your system would be making it appealing. I learned all this stuff in the book Atomic Habits by the way but you can make your um, habit that you want to create appealing. So in the nighttime if you want to start reading before you go to bed put a book on your pillow so that you can be like oh let me read right now and don't put like your nintendo switch or your phone right beside the book because then you're going to want to reach for your phone or your technology before the book so i really recommend making your habits appealing but right now i am working on my vision board it is the cutest thing ever i got all these pictures from pinterest so you can find them over there and also i have a link to the completed vision board if you want to use my vision board in the description down below and it's a really cute vision board you can make your own just by downloading some cute pictures from pinterest or whatever pictures align with what your goals are for the new year and download them and put them into a collage on canva and i also added like some filters and effects with it using the app line camera i'll show you guys the whole process in this video i also really like to make physical ones but right now i'm just making a digital one for right now i'm gonna make a physical one very very soon not in this video but this digital one is actually my lock screen and my wallpaper on my laptop so i really like to use that because i use my laptop every single day and when i can see this vision board it really inspires me to really like motivational different things to like just do my work and do my schoolwork and do my youtube editing and just do everything it really inspires me to just go on with my day and gets me excited for my dream life one thing that I really recommend doing is to set aside time to look on Pinterest. You may be like, that sounds crazy, but Pinterest just really excites you for your dream life. You can make boards like My 2023 or My Dream Life or Manifestations. You can make these cute boards on really anything you want to. And I really recommend just dedicating some time to Pinterest so that you can really start putting together different photos that will align with your 2023 i love to do that I do it all the time but this is the app line camera i was telling you guys about and you can literally just edit like your photos i'm just adding filters to mine and then i'm gonna add like some heart type of things to make it really cute and kind of align with my little girly aesthetic <music> it my wallpaper and it's actually so cute you just saw a glimpse of my notion if you want to see my notion tour i actually have a video all about it it'll be in the eye in the corner but i am now making it my wallpaper and it's just so cute the way it turned out i absolutely love it so much again it'll be in the description down below if you want to download it use it for yourself but i just love it so much so this is pretty much the finished product of my vision board it turned out really cute i love everything about it the quotes the pictures that core uh, spawn with like my goals and just really everything that i want to focus on i really love it so much <music> Okay, so here's what it looks like. It is literally the cutest thing ever. I love it. And so I have all the different pictures that correspond with my 2023. So my 2023, um, in August, I'll be entering my junior year. So I have a lot of things I'm going to be doing in my junior year, like psychology. That says I'm a psych major, but it cut it off with this thing right here. So I know what it means. <laughs> but it has a quote here. I have affirmations. Always get good grades. Different things like other affirmations. The Wizard Liz Queen hydration, Hawker walks, my car that I'm hoping to get in 2023, um, like a cake, and then a whisper that talks about being 16, and then I have like this manifest my desires type of thing, quotes, Starbucks, love yourself, and then like it girl definition, gonna slay college and everything, so it's just the cutest thing ever, and I also have self-care right here, and then this is gonna be kind of like me doing my college work and stuff but yeah so i'm super excited i love it so much it is the cutest thing and i am going to do a his physical version as well but i just want to do the digital version first because then i can see it every day because i'm on my laptop every single day and so i'm going to do the um physical version i got to find out where i'm going to put it on my wall and i got to print out the photos but i just absolutely love this digital version as well 
because I think you guys should definitely invest in for the new year. I definitely love the book Atomic Habits. I'm not finished with it, but I am still reading it, and it's just incredible. Also, I recommend um, getting the weekly emails from James Clear. He's, like, talking about different things about habits, and I really do recommend it. It's a great book, and it's actually teaching you, like, the science of habits and not just how to build a habit. It actually shows you the systems and everything on how to do that. I love this book. I haven't finished it yet. I haven't finished any of these books completely yet. I'm just, like in them and I absolutely love this because I love learning about the science and the psychology of different things and this case is about a mindset so I love to read about psychology and different things like that this is really good because it really shows you how the brain works when it comes to building mindsets I also like this book better than before I actually haven't started that one or this one because or these because these are like new ones that I just got but I've heard a lot of good things about them so I just want to show you guys them so this one it looks really good I've heard a lot of good stuff about that on Pinterest and then this one I really want to get more organized in 2023 so I definitely want to pick up this book and and this one making it happen and this is actually a journal that I've been using it's called the joy of letting go and I actually got it from Marshall's for $4.99 and it's just like a daily journal type of thing and you write down how you woke up feeling what was stressful about today what was wonderful about today by the end of the day I'm feeling and then a brain dump for tomorrow and you also put the date up here I love this idea because it really helps you just to reflect on the day if you just want to do normal journaling and like a blank journal, I really do recommend, um, you don't have to buy these, but just try to do prompts like these. And this actually has a card for every day. You can write down what was the best part of your day so far, share three things that you're grateful for, and what are you looking forward to. And I love to do, do different things like this because it really helps you to manifest your day and like um, help your day and your week to go the way that you want it to a whole podcast episode on how to make 2023 your best year yet so you definitely go check that out i'll leave it in the description down below it's literally i talk about everything if you want to learn about more on making goals for the new year i have an episode where i featured one of my friends sophia and i actually like really did a whole episode just on goal setting then i also did an episode on making 2023 your best year yet and also i have another episode that comes out tomorrow and i'm actually filming this on I don't even know what day it is, but it's tomorrow or the day I'm filming this. And it's about leveling up in 2023. It's a podcast episode, and you should definitely check that out, too. It's for my paid subscribers only, so you should definitely subscribe to the podcast. But the other two episodes I told you guys about, those are absolutely free, so you should check out those as well. Also, I recommend taking on a new hobby for 2023. In my case, I'm doing cooking, and so I got this book, I Love Trader Joe's. I saw it at um, Urban Outfitters, and I found it for a cheaper price at TJ Maxx. And it's all about... Um, cooking and different recipes and stuff and different things you can find at Trader Joe's and I love Trader Joe's because I actually eat gluten-free and they have a huge um, options and like a bunch of like just gluten-free stuff there for me to choose from so I definitely want to pick up this book and you should definitely try out a new hobby of your own Thank you so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. If you did enjoy it, please like it and subscribe to my channel and leave a comment down below on what are some of your goals for the new year. Um, I just love this whole video and resetting for 2023. I really hope that you did enjoy it and I hope that your 2023 is off to a great start. Let me know how it's going in the comments down below and I will see you guys later. Bye!